Yo, what's up? It's your girl Jazzy the Kid. It's your boy Hakeem. And you're listening to Too Much Talk. Yeah. It's your boy Hakeem. And you're listening to Too, Too Much, Much Talk. Talk. Yeah. yeah. All right, you know what to do. You know this is not that. Just kind of piss me off a little bit. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another YouTube video. What's up, boss? Woke up. Um, <laughs> let's do that again. That's the week. What? I love natural stuff. Like I love just being authentically as. All right, whatever. Skip it. We gonna leave it in there. Leave it all in there. Leave everything. See, it's not me this time. Y'all. Okay. You see what I'm saying? It's not me this time. That, that's, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she thought we was gonna cut it, and so she was still in uncut mode. <laughs> Unfiltered mode, final cut. Yeah. Oh yeah, she tweaking off. She she off. I would like beat. to go night night, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She tired. <laughs> tired. No, we got we got something to talk about today. Yeah, we, got we got something to talk about for talk sure. About. Before we get started, though, <clears throat> make sure you like, subscribe, Comment. smash smash that notification bell, spam right. the vid, spam the video, uh, whatever. What does spam me? Don't they be like spam spamming me like just like constantly watching? Constantly, no, constantly do. A thing over and over and over yeah. again. Like, Constantly spam the share button. Yeah. Spam the share button. Share it to everyone you know, especially about this specific topic here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, make sure you guys follow our socials, Hakeem and Jazzy on Facebook. Yeah. Them Collins on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Them Collins on IG. So on and so forth. Jazzy the Kid and Hakeem Collins. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm feeling real thirsty. And I I'm feeling tell. like I need a positive pause today. Oh, positivity Yeah, pause. we got we got, to, we got to do the positive Well, go pause. ahead, uh, get, drink your little uh, your, your positivity water right Rightfully there, so. You're you sounding mm -hmm. parched. Mm -hmm. You're sounding dry. Mm -hmm. uh, positivity pause for today. Uh, Lord, give it to us. <sighs> what, what was it, what's it about today? Be you. Mm -hmm. Authentically you. Ooh, be you be just be you you want to you want to one okay you want to one and when you start to replicate and try to duplicate something that somebody else is doing now you just made two of them Ooh, but right? that wasn't the intention that wasn't the intention it's one of every y'all right 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 unless you're a twin or tri or triple eight or no triplet. even even them there's something that is different about them that's right? true it's, it's one way that you can tell them apart nobody is the exact you know mm -hmm. identical twin but like our friend says <clears throat> Um, uh, I forgot. I forgot what he says, but it was on my brain, and then I had lost it. Which friend? Uh, you you want me a name drop? All right, just forget it. Skip it. But just be you. <laughs> just be you. Oh, attention! Is the heck of a drug. Oh like, yeah. You already oh, yeah. know what friend I'm talking about. Yeah, well, he probably want to be shouted out. Shout out DJ man. Shout out to John uh, Miller man. Whatever. Shout out my boy. Yeah, you know whatever, what I'm saying. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, attention, man. Attention is a heck of a drug. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And so sometimes people try to replicate and duplicate mm -hmm. because they just want that attention. They want they want to be a celebrity. They want to be famous. They wanna they wanna go viral and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Get out of your mind that you're trying to go viral and just be you. You, you got your own path. And you got your own flock of people that's gonna flock to yes, you. Yes. That's going to come to you. It's you trying to do somebody else's stuff. It may not be the right people that's supposed yeah. to follow you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. Yeah, be you. That's good. Nice yeah. and positive. Nice and positive. Thanks for listening to the positivity pause, guys. Oh, yeah. Make sure you guys shop on wearelax.com. Oh, yeah. Relax fit clothing. Mm -hmm. Men's <clears throat> coming soon. Yeah, coming soon. I just got an inbox this morning, an email this morning saying, what? do you have men's clothes again? It's coming, y'all. It's on the way. God, but if you, you know what? Jazz like to just announce everything. She like to, you know what I'm saying? I told her she got the lax going. I said, look. Keep on working that, right? And I'm going to come through when it's time for me to come through. I gave her, I said, August, September. And she been on my, my heels, right? It's coming. It's coming. It's a whole lot of things going on. If you couldn't peep, it's tons of things going on right now. But anyways... Um, It'll be there soon, you guys. Make will. sure you check yeah. out um, uh, Lax Apparel or just mm -hmm. wearelax.com. Yeah. Comfortable clothes, things that you can be cute in and still go to and fro, handling them kids with yeah. comfortable, relaxed fit clothes, but you can be cute in it, yep. even at home in a house dress or something. Mm -hmm. Make sure you check out the websites. Mm -hmm. um, but we got 
a nice, juicy, hot topic today. Yes. Today. Today. <laughs> today. And, yeah, this may ruffle some feathers. Maybe, may or maybe not, it's, because it's, because people don't like to live in truth. It depends. No, that in 2024, they living in truth. Never mind. <laughs> they, they love, they, we love, love the truth in 2024. Um, and, I mean, hey, we got to love it. That's, so let's talk about it. Let's, let's tell, the, tell the truth, shame the devil. Right? All that's right. Yeah. Um, but we just, me and Hakeem, I, I think I asked this question to Hakeem the other day, and I said, how do we get to a point where we don't love each other anymore? And I'm not saying I'm trying to find out. Father of God, I'm not trying to find yeah. out. Keep us, Father, in Jesus' name. Yeah. <laughs> but how do we get to a point where we don't love each other anymore? That's that's the topic today. That is such a loaded question <laughs> to me. That That's a lot to unpack in that question. You know what I'm saying? Because... Were you ever in love? Mm. End of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. No. Like, like, were you ever in love in the first place? You know, did you know what love was to be in it? Mm. God, dog. See, it's already starting. And that's truth that maybe people don't even understand mm -hmm. about themselves or yeah. in while they're in a relationship. Yeah. They don't understand. I never really knew how to love in the first place. So I didn't tell you that because I didn't know that I wasn't loving you. Right. But. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I I think when we get in a relationship, we are learning love over time, right? We're learning a new love it, every time. It, it's it's maturing, right? Yeah, right, you know right, what I'm saying? right, right. And so, it's I shouldn't say a new love, a new way of a loving. New, uh, I mean, yeah. you're learn you're learn you're unpacking how to love mm -hmm. the whole time. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just like if you're a doctor and you're practicing how to be a doctor or whatever. And then you you've been a doctor for 10 years and then now all of a sudden you see this case where you don't necessarily know how you're going to solve it. You know what I'm saying? You you see you're a surgeon and you don't know how to fix up this. You've never seen this before okay, or whatever. Analogy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, all you can do is expand upon a thing or whatever. Right. Your love has to be tried. It has to be refined. So through situations and, you know, hardships and unideal situations, you constantly ask that question. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Is he or she important enough to overcome this thing you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. over and over and over again so i i, 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 went, I don't know we, yeah, we was just riding the car when i asked that question i'm like because there could be a time where you just yeah that's a good question because it's just like it was it love or was it just a consumption of lust yeah that you just lust over this person so bad all this time mm -hmm. you got to a point where you just like eh. Y'all understand that when we get with somebody, it's this fire there, it's this spark, it's this, uh, and we have to keep up with that as yeah. we grow in our relationships, our marriages, whatever you decide to do, however you're doing it. And you have to continue to um, nourish that thing, nurture that thing to yeah. make it stay it, you know what I'm saying? And so. Yeah. I feel like I, that's with, with anything, though, It's because it, it's, it's relationship. Relationship is what a correlation between two things that connect you or whatever, so. You know, even if it was um, food, you, you hungry? <laughs> we just ate. I'm looking at the Chick-fil-A bags. <laughs> you ain't have to say what it was. I'm just I didn't say what it was. I didn't say it was a burrito <laughs> with a kale salad and some some fruit <laughs> and a sweet. I didn't tea. eat all three. I've, there was one was a snack. I ate the burrito for the breakfast and I drank a little bit. I actually ate the ice. Do out the sweet all of tea. them cease to exist right now? <laughs> the fruit, the uh, couple of pieces of fruit left. Wow. But you ate the other stuff. That, that fruit. Oh, oh is like what you every needed. couple of hours. I split it up. Yes. Small meals. We ain't been here that long. We only been here. Anyways, <laughs> get back. You're getting off the track. Anyways. Shape, anyways. You're saying it can be in, with anything. It can be with anything. You have to constantly maintain. You have to always have that maintenance, right? Especially mm. marriage, I guess, because that is going to be the thing that you're running into every single day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing that two mature adults have come together to share this life together or whatever that you, you do have to consistently maintenance, you know? But do, I'm saying like, <clears throat> is it, what causes the, okay, it gets to 10 years. Okay. Us, we're almost, well, we're at a 10 year mark where we like been in a relationship and it's like, what 
is it kids that cause you to just not love your person anymore or just be interested in your person anymore? Is it just not communicating over a certain period of time? Is it running business together? Uh, we got businesses together. Right. And so we, it's all about business and we just kind of stopped just and over the years. It just was like, uh, I'm on something else. Yeah. See, that's, that's what we were saying before though. So I feel like our, our situation is a little different because you know, we met when we were young, when, when we didn't have anything, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We started this, you know, this company together and everything like that. But like we said on the other episode, like you didn't marry your business partner. You, you was actually just supposed to go to in business with this person or whatever, mm -hmm. like the rock, the rock, uh, his, the, the girl the, he was wrestling with. No, no, she, he wasn't wrestling with her or whatever, but, uh, anyway, his daughters, his first daughter's mother or whatever, I think they were married but they're business partners now like you know what i'm saying so now they got their they're efficient they're mm -hmm. effective as business partners or whatever so it could have just been his business partner mm -hmm. now of course he got a you know a, a beautiful daughter out of that and everything like that and you know she's a wrestler and everything like that but sometimes we just we marry our business partner we marry our assignment mm -hmm. we marry you know all this other stuff or whatever but um yeah <laughs> I forgot where I was going, going with that, but <laughs> I forgot where I was going with that. But I, uh, I was saying that, like, what what causes that that ugh, I'm just not interested? Is it just like because I it's like I'm trying to figure out in my mind. Like I said, I'm not trying to find out. I'm not doing yeah. that. It's like it's just like I think I'd be trying to process it with other people. Like, how do you be so on fire with this person or whatever? And then it's just like you get to a point where just like I'm a cheat. Or I'm a I'm a That's just easy. I don't I don't just being curious what it's not a curiosity thing or whatever it's more so like a um like a a need there in order for you to like step out right there's something that is needed needed right so there's a lack somewhere and you have either communicated that expected that to be conveyed or you just don't want to say anything at this point you fed up right yeah. And so, and you just kind of start moving on your own, doing things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You you mentally check out. You go, you just go search not for that thing. Not a safe space. It's not a safe space. Not no. a safe space. But I would say that overall, it is a a chain of unforgiveness. A lot of times, you know, what I'm saying because I'm holding, like, like we said, like if I'm communicating a certain thing with you or whatever, and then you're not getting it, I'm holding it against you, right? Mm -hmm. And so, like, uh, I think I did the illustration before. Like, we're like this. But if I start to say, like, okay, you're not watching the kids enough. You're not paying attention to me. You're not doing this. You're not doing we're that. Drawing right? further away. Yeah, we're drawing for the further people away. That's doing the listening. Right. <laughs> he's, he's doing the illustration. Yeah. <laughs> now, if I can get biblical with it, right? Okay, come on. Um, dang, I keep on thinking. I'm losing my train of thought. But if, if we get biblical with it, right? We're we're walking with God, right? It says that the church is the bride of the Christ, right? Right, the of, the, church, of the Christ. That's the us. bride of Christ, right? And so, if we're wedded with Him, we're mm -hmm. walking with Him, mm -hmm. right? Now, to repent in the Bible means to turn your back on sin, right? Right. So it's either you're in relationship with what you're supposed to be, right, holy matrimony, or it's the sin of a thing, right, to mm -hmm. not be facing towards God, right, right? and to be walking with Him, right. And so that's what happens in our relationships down, you know, here on earth. We're together, but if we're not repenting, right, constantly forgiving con each yeah, other, forgiving each other or not conquering our temptations, uh -oh. you know what I'm saying? Okay. Then we start to turn further towards the sin. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You have to constantly like repent. You have to constantly turn your back on these temptations and these things over here. The sin or the unbelief yeah, of or the, your partner. Right. Working. Right. Hey, that's what it is amen. you know what i'm saying but that's why you have to you have to pray you got to repent daily or whatever you got to always turn your back on all this stuff that the world is offering mm -hmm. you you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. in order for you to walk with your partner right and so a lot of people don't do that a lot of people just keep on going or whatever and they'll just you know silently turn their back on their partner until my back is totally facing you now i'm not walking with you no more and now i'm walking towards the world because a bunch of different things then just happened and it caused mm -hmm. me to I don't even care to talk about it no more. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't care. Uh, not even. I don't even. Not only do I not care to talk about it, but now whatever happens happens. Now I'm starting to get, grow curious a little bit. Now I'm starting to imagine life over here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, 
Do you think it's like it can be like in, not inherited or or like what if people used to seeing like a person like that they were in a relationship with? I mean, or seeing like, OK, a girl may have seen her mom constantly just kind of get with people not and then get with another person, get with another person. Do you think that she could inherit that? And even though she could be in love with this guy, she just kind of be like, uh, I want to try something new because yeah. of, yeah, you know, absolutely. Her seeing her mom do that. I do you mean, think like. Subconsciously, I feel like you you could follow down that path. You know what I'm saying. But also, I could say the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Because my father was my mom. My mom and my dad were together for like 12 years or mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, but while I was here, they were probably together probably like four or five. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it, you know, he went off and did his own thing or whatever. And you know, my mom raised us, so I could have been like, oh well. And there was a thought one time in my head. So you telling me that you can have three baby mamas out here and they can all be cordial and cool? You like, hmm. it's, I'm going to try that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's just like I had to deal with them thoughts, too. I'm just because just looking, I got to make a decision at the end of the day. Right. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to be here or not. Now, based on what my father showed me, he showed me that, hey, you can really enter, you know, not with any of them. To this day, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like mm -hmm. you can go over here. You can do this. You can do that. You can do that. And you can still be cool. You can still go have your fun. You can kick it or whatever. You ain't got to. You, you don't even got to talk to your kids if you don't want to. But you got some beautiful kids out here. You know what I'm saying? Like you can do your own thing. You can kick it. Right. Right. And so um, you just got to make a decision. Like because you can come from a wholesome household and still be like, man, I want to be out here in these streets. I want. I want a little. Bit of, right. I want a little bit of everybody. I want somebody from every culture. It's just it's something that you got to deal with. What's appealing to you? Right. That's it. I feel like. I don't know. I, that, and it's like I'm a, it's so many different questions that come up because everybody's situation is different. Everybody wants and needs are different. It's just to know that you can be just super in love with someone and then just be like, nah, it's just it's just like how what is the reason? How do you get to that place of just not wanting to love that person no more and just be like and then you find yourself going somewhere else and then you just be like, yep. Well, than that, it just, <clears throat> even when people moving on early, like, I don't know. It's just yeah. everybody is different. It's just I, I the question still stands in my head. Like, I just don't know, like, how that. I mean, you got, it's just a you different got free, freedom to do what you want. Like, some people just check out. Like I said, like, you just mentally, like, check out. You just, you, you wake up and you just start looking at somebody Ooh, or like, whatever. You, you just, ugly. You just like, <laughs> dang, you pop, but. <laughs> I think I think that goes like that's foul. <laughs> I mean, I think that goes with like being their friend first too. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people get in relationships, and you know it's just like, oh man, you look good. You know what I'm saying? I want to like, be you. Like, I want to be with you. I want you to be my girlfriend or my boyfriend. Right? Like it it don't have no substance or whatever. And so like when you wake up one day and you just like, what the heck am I doing here? You know, what I'm saying? oh, I'm it's time to go. Like, and know. the next thing you know, I mean, you try to do that, but it's kids already here. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been seven years. Hey man, and it's a kid here. You know, uh, a and a, a lot of people that get divorced or they they break up, right? They kind of say the same thing. Like, we just grew or, apart. Yeah, that we grew apart, or the kids say, "Well, I just wanted my mom and dad to be happy." You know what I'm saying? Wait, what? What are you talking about? They'll be like, "Well, they'll break up because the parents will break up, mm -hmm. right?" And then the kids will be like, "Well." You know, I just wanted my. I'm just happy my mom is finally happy and my dad is finally happy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's like, dang, you had to go outside the relationship to find that happiness or whatever. Like, it's just kind of crazy. Like, you, we ba we basically saying that I don't want to do life with you anymore. How do we get to that point? How can how would art us personally like? What would that even look like? First of all, I would say being selfish. Just caring for just self and for, for me for me to say I'm done. It's just it, it, there's no rhyme or reason. It's, it's got to be just me. I don't feel like it anymore. I don't want to do. It. I don't want to commit. Do not want to do this anymore. Waking up every day, getting these kids together, yeah. talking to you, yeah. making sure you're okay. Yeah, like that. That's it. And a, a big part of, and we were, we were probably going to do another pod about this, but a big part of staying wedded or in a relationship is me fighting myself. Mm. You know, like. I got to fight me more than I fight you. And it, when I stop fighting me, now that is when we grow apart. That's when 
we start to say stuff like that. If I stop fighting myself, you pre you, you a weak, you know. <laughs> you know, y'all know the rest. I mean, like, you know, like I don't I don't I don't care to fight myself to fight for you. Fighting myself is fighting for you. But fighting you is it's just fighting you. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm breaking you down. You breaking me down. We're not building each other up or whatever. But if I fight, I literally two birds, one stone. If I fight myself, I'm not only winning for myself, but I'm winning for you because I'm becoming a better person for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? For right. my family. So. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. <laughs> Everything else on the side is right here until you stop. Okay. <laughs> that's what i said that's why i'm like dang well like what's going on know, today having these headphones on like it's like a whole different world or whatever like you know what i'm saying like I, sometimes i <laughs> sometimes i feel like you got a helmet on like i'm just like <laughs> i feel like a space cadet i'm sitting here like <laughs> so it's it seems like it's, it seems like the the main thing is literally stop being selfish you can't be selfish Otherwise, if you be selfish, you're going to find a reason to not be there and not love yeah. that person no more. Yeah. If you being selfish. Yeah. And so with marriage, I love it so much because at one way, uh, well, a lot of wedding ceremonies that we go to now, uh, they got the sand. Right. Yeah. And so you got the sand that I think the the mother or the, or the mom, the, the mom, mom, the parents, or yeah, something. the parents oh. pour in, and then you pour in your sand or whatever, and they they say, "May your marriage be as long as as many grains of sand is in this in this bottle or whatever." Dang. And if you ever try to uh, part, sit down together and try to separate all the colors of this sand or whatever, <sighs> and that's what it is. It's gonna take a lot. It's gonna take a lot. You know what I'm saying? And so. When you go through that breaking up process over like years, like people will be together like twenty nine years. Now we're, we're done with we're each breaking other. Up, you know, we're divorced after fifty years. What? Right. <laughs> you know, like what's over the five now? You seventy? It's not even about the finding. It's just like a. <laughs> well, yeah, seventy is kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. That that's just give it up. That's that's kind of crazy. Stick around. That's, that's mad selfish. That's selfish, stubborn, all that. Like, I mean, I've been waiting to get out this relationship this forty years. I'm done. Bro, sir, you're 70. Yeah, man. I'm just going to have to make it do what it do. I ain't even going to lie. Like, just stick around. Stick, just stick around. <laughs> we literally know each other. In and out, through and through. Man. Up, down, all around. I'm telling you. But <laughs> um, that separation, man, like over the years, we obviously are building more and more things together. You know right. what I'm saying? And so, like, you know, we got the business and we got, you know, we got the house. We got, you know, uh, the the kids, you know, each of them got their relationship with us you know what i'm saying right. it'd be me jazz kai and then it's me jazz elise that dynamic you know what i'm saying it's all individual amongst them then we got the in-laws uh then we got you know friends back home that we uh we made together and you know have always known us together you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying since they met us and um you know most of our adult life we've been together for our, our whole yeah since yeah. we've been adults pretty much yeah actually um and so all this stuff that you make together or whatever to have to separate all that stuff. It, that's enough for me to stay. I don't want to, I don't even like to move houses and things <laughs> around. Like I'm, I'm cool. Like the second where I'm just like, I can't do this no more. Then I'm like, all right, well, you know, Hakeem, you're going to have to. Y'all to, to be completely <laughs> transparent, those thoughts come up. I don't care. You're not being honest. Yeah. If you may, if you're married and those thoughts don't come up in your head or have not yet. I don't know how fresh you would be are in your marriage. But the thoughts come up or your mind tries to play tricks on you. For me personally, the thoughts came up. And it'll be something so fixable that it just be like, are you kidding me? You like, I, I re what, what the what are well, you what talking you, about the wait, thoughts no I want to know what thoughts you think I'm talking no, about no I'm saying you having thoughts you said I, I don't care <laughs> stop playing with me on this camera and on this mic what you talking what are you thinking what the thoughts I'm talking about what thoughts are you talking about thoughts of what I'm talking about like divorce thoughts yeah you be having divorce thoughts I had those before yeah really yeah I told you that don't play with me in front of these people and what did I say? Did I have divorce a uh, divorce thought? Yeah, you said you did too. Yes, no, you did. did. You said I'm just kidding. You, I'm just oh kidding. look, yeah, he playing, he messing. I'm like, I'm don't kidding. do that in well, front I, of me. Well, I, I, me personally, I don't, I don't think I've had that many divorce. Thoughts. I think I'm, I have one that I can recollect. One. 
one where I'm just like, bro, this is too much going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, You're caught. I was lying. You're caught. Caught you. Caught in the act. Caught on candy camera. Caught on this. Well, this caught on candy camera. You caught, Hakeem. I was just playing. I had them thoughts. So I just caught I you. I know you had them thoughts. How I had them thoughts? Because you, what 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 women try to do, <laughs> or or Jazz tries to do is, if I'm acting a certain type of way, she tries to act the exact same way. It's so childish. <laughs> like just get your own feelings. You know what I'm saying? Why are you trying to borrow mine? <laughs> Why like you know like if she if she in the mood or whatever I'm like let's talk about it no I don't want to talk right now I'm like why why not why are you trying to push it under the rug to later or whatever just just handle it right now you know what I'm saying but if I'm in a mood she'll ask me once and I'm like no nah, I'm straight she's doing better now but she'll be like I'll be like yeah I'm straight I'm good and then and then she'll be like yeah I'm fine I'm tired all of a sudden like bro because here's the thing with Hakeem y'all Hakeem is like. His is like, okay, I'm a girl. Like, I just feel like it should be expected. Like, attitudes, mood swings, whatever, or just in my head, whatever. It's like kind of expected. Not saying it's okay, but I'm just saying he know me, right? But Hakeem had these moments where he gets to a point where he like, when he get upset or be in his head or whatever, it's just different. It seemed a little harsh to me. It's like hurtful. It's like, uh, you hate me and I don't even know what's wrong with you. And the thing is, I'll talk about what I'm thinking or what or what it is. I, I mean, I'm saying like I'll eventually say it. You I probably would never know. You just in the funk and I got to leave you or you just thinking about something or you just in deep thought and I got to leave okay, you. So you yeah. ain't going to really communicate it but, to me. So but, me, I'm just like, well, nigga, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I don't even know if I can put this on these things. Yeah, I think can. I can. I can say what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, if you Ooh, hey, you're going to say it twice. <laughs> oh, oh. Like, for real, like, if you, I'm literally communicating with you while you're not doing it for me. Uh, and men just have this thing where they just don't want to talk. Like, okay. and so if you constantly do that, would you, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, like, you well, I'm just going to, eventually, I'm going to let you be to you, but it is going to kind of cause me to have a little attitude a little bit. Like, like he said, I'm getting better because. There was times where he was doing it way off that he's gotten way better since he okay, used to. Okay, the times in which she... Jazz is stuck in 20, <laughs> 2014, okay? Okay, I'm not... No, I'm talking about now. You just kind of did it this morning. No, no, I'm like... No, I did it. I t you were kind of like... I went to bed at 1 a.m. Oh, he was tired. At okay. 6. I'm tired. I give you grace. I give you grace. I had shades on and everything. I'm like, I give you grace. See, but she be thinking... That mm -hmm. I'm thinking a specific thought, yeah. And instead of asking about that specific thought, I did ten times. I said, "Baby, you good? No, no, you no, okay? no, 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 no." When good? I say specific thought, she thinks I'm mad about a specific thing, and so she'll think the thing, and instead of asking about that thing, she'll just be like, "You good?" And then she'll, if if you think I'm I'm mad about something specific, then you'll just be like, "Okay, all right." You know what I'm saying? And you'll let it ride out or whatever. Instead of addressing that thing head on. So sometimes when you, uh, uh, it was like a couple of days ago or whatever. Why do I have to dig though? No, no, Why won't you not, just not, tell it's me? Because like, you don't know when, what I'm when you're, thinking. When you're, when you're truly offset, right? When, you, when you're mad, you don't want to talk. You don't want to say it. You don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to say anything. You just want to mm. be like arms folded. I don't want to, I don't want to do, I don't want to do anything. You know what I'm saying? That's it. So what I do with Jazz is if she is upset and I clearly know what's going on or whatever, right? Like maybe her mom will yell at her or something like that, right? Or not yell at her. Or she'll, she'll like pick at her. You know what I'm saying? And then Jazz was just up here. He was on, you know what I'm saying? 100. Mom said this. Now she over here. Now she right here. You see what I'm saying? Mm. And I'm like, we riding in the car. What's going on with you? Nothing. No, like what? What's up? What's going on? Like I, you were just on a hundred. What's going on now? I don't want to talk about it. No, let's talk about it. No, now. you said sometimes you was like, just say I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, but you didn't say that initially. You said nothing. I said, what's wrong? Nothing. Jazz, what's wrong? You was just on a hundred. Now you're on like fifty. What's up? I don't want to talk about it right now. Why not? I was like, was it the stuff that just happened? Because I already know. I just need you to confirm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we can, I'll unpack it for you. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll talk about it. But I'll try to do that same thing that he do to me, y'all, to make no, no, sure no. that I'm there. No, you don't. I can't. Just, I, I can't. I'll, I'll ask you saying. something and you'll be like, 
Well, I don't know, cause some some lately some things are coming. People are like, I don't know, I just I just don't want to, you know, this this that and the third. You getting better at it, but it'd be like, well, I can't, cause I'll ask you stuff and you be like, I just I'm good. Like, no, I'm just, no, you ask, are you okay? I'm like, I'm straight. I'm talking about specifics, like if something happened or whatever, right? Like, let's say I couldn't go to uh, like the studio or something like that, right? And then like something came up, and then I get in a mood, and then you like. You okay? And I'm like, I'm straight. You won't be like, is it because you couldn't go to the studio? It'll be other times. I've done studio, that. Baby. Jazz, I'm right there. You don't be doing that. But that's okay. Like, you might touch me or whatever. Now, like, that's fine. I'll take a touch. I will take a touch any day of the we week. We sure of it. Everyone knows. I will take two touches. Everyone knows. Matter of fact, make it three. <laughs> three touches. <laughs> Wish you had three hands. But anyways, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, no, nah, you won't. You won't unpack it like that. You just so basically, you're saying I don't unpack. Help you like unpack it by asking you specific questions. I'll just say, "Are you okay?" Opposed to you, you'll help me unpack what yeah, it is. Yeah, help I'm me unpack. With. That's yeah. Note of the week. Help your partner unpack right? what it is that's going on in their yes, head. Yes, because whatever is going on in your head, sometimes it can be a lot, right? And you don't know where to start. Mm-hmm. It's just like a, a dirty room. You just come in and you just like, oh, I don't even know where to start to clean or whatever. Yeah, one thing to say is I'm straight. I'm good. I'm straight. I'm, I'm good. good. Right. And you just sit in your mess. Right. For my people that are visual, I guess you're coming into a dirty room and you don't know where to start. So your partner helps you clean up that room. That's, that's it. Good. Put everything where it's supposed to be. Right. That's it. That's that's it. I mean, it's not. I'm gonna make it back eventually. Eventually, I'm gonna get up and clean my own daggone room. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But it's good to have some help sometimes. Sometimes you don't even know you need the help until you get it. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know how we got there. I don't but know I think I was asking like, as far as us, like how would we get there? You know what I mean? Like how does it? How do we get to? How will we get to that point so that we don't? That's what we're thinking of it. Like, what? It's just literally a selfish thing. I would, I would say so. Gonna, it has to be selfishness. It's always going to be that. Like when, when I stop trying to serve you, right? Like that's it. Like if I, when I stop thinking about you and, and considering your feelings and everything, and I start putting my all everything that is within me above you, right? That's when that starts to kind of come into play mm-hmm. or whatever, right? Because um, I mean, obviously, people are going to come out with the the obvious stuff, like. Oh, um, uh, he he cheated. That's him putting himself above you, right? Yeah. He stepped out. Yeah, that he was texting another girl. That's him putting himself up, up over you, right? He's not considering those feelings, or he's not strong enough to overcome his own. You know. Mm-hmm. Um. So in any sort, that's what it is. When you start to be selfish, when you stop fighting yourself for the sake of your marriage. How do you, how does, yeah, I was going to say how, well, that kind of is our answer, but if we can elaborate more, like how could one that could be listening to this could be kind of in that situation right now, Mm -hmm. how could one not, or just even if they are at that point where they're, their wits in and they're fed up and they just Mm want to like, they're just like not for it anymore for their person anymore. How would we encourage them to kind of change their mind or shift gears so that they can start to change like you know unpack or um love on their person again and find a new thing you know how would you encourage oh i would i would just see uh how could i be of service but typically when you ask a question not you no no not me i know i'm saying how could you be of service to To your your partner to your partner okay Mm -hmm. okay um but typically when you ask that question or whatever to to the audience (laughs) Not me. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> this is a service. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> uh, but typically when you uh, ask that question to like the public or whatever, you'll get a lot of inboxes from women. Right. Right. That are like, I've been doing this for my husband. I've been doing that and blah, blah, blah. We're finally um, didn't do it, getting ready to get a divorce. We're getting just... divorced. He's been mentally, verbally, emotionally abusive, sometimes, unfortunately, physically, you know what I'm saying? And right. so, I don't know. My aspect, I'm always going to hold the males accountable because this is what, all I hear. I don't hear it from the other side like that, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. I don't hear too many men saying, I'm trying, Keem, I'm really trying. And maybe maybe two people, but they're younger. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like they're still trying to find, but they're still trying to be better 
men you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying they're trying to make sure that they're not wasting no time or whatever um but for the most part how can you be a better service and then when you're doing all the serving that you can do god am i supposed to be here where am i supposed to be at am i in the wrong place did i did i place myself wrong did i hear you before i moved you know what i'm saying like that into the situation yeah you know what i'm saying that will that them is those are the two most beneficial notes that i can give anybody that is in a relationship or marriage refer back to god refer go back, back to, to god. go back to the source and see what's going on yeah like the the service for sure like if i'm supposed to be there okay how can i be of better service to my partner maybe you are doing all the cooking the cleaning and everything but are you covering them are you like are you fasting are you praying you know what i'm saying mm, uh, are you being the change that you want to see you know what i'm saying uh, if if it's a I don't know a a money thing right uh where they're not as disciplined with the funds and everything uh i don't know maybe just further educate yourself on like maybe some sound investments or something where you can put some money away that you or do something that you know that's going to bring in more income or whatever but the thing is there's only so much that you can do alone right in a marriage you know what i'm saying yeah like some people need a mediator or a counselor or and, and you don't have to pay for that service. Maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a pastor or something like that. But it, it, at some point, y'all have to come together on a and discuss these yeah, things. a consensual Unpack basis. It. Yeah, you know, and I think people just I don't know. I, I, I will say definitely slow down mm-hmm. first before any men making any sudden decisions. Yeah, Slow down. Like for me personally. I think I was going into that like I randomly was just thinking those stupid thoughts just come up. Um, it could be the smallest things that could be fixable or, you know, in that moment you may feel like it's not fixable. Mm-hmm. Um, one big thing is just communication and oh, yes. or once uh, communicating how you feel, communicating what the issue is mm-hmm. so that you guys can come together and find a solution. Yeah. Communicating. And the reason that is so big and so people may say it's cliche is because how else you going to know if they I don't know how you feel till you tell me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you feel till you tell me. And so I keep like for us specifically. Dang, I'll that's keep, a good bar. I don't know how you feel till you tell me for real. That ain't a bar. But yeah, it is. I mean, it's, it's a line. It's a line. But I don't know how you feel till, till you tell me. Till you tell me. I'll get mad at it because. <laughs> Oh, can you just yell it to me? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know whoever is listening to this in a car or something, so sorry. Oh, my gosh. I tried um, to turn away, but <laughs> you get on sure, Mike. You're going to pick up everything. You hear me? Shout out, Sherry. Give us more. Ooh. We no more. We only two here. <laughs> we greedy. <laughs> um, I'll get mad at Hakeem because... He do like I'm like I'm trying to get you to understand me. I'm trying to get you to understand me. You don't understand me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the shell and just not talk to you at all. And it gets a point where if I continue to do stuff like that and I stay in the shell, I my mind could go places that's like cons- making me be selfish right. and not selfish and and <laughs> and not communicate. Yeah. Because I don't like when someone does not understand me or try to understand me or it's just like literally seem like it's too hard to understand me. That kind of tells me, hey, you're difficult. But can I say something? Go say something. Go because, say something. see what I'm saying? Selfish. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but um, there's a difference between not understanding you and not agreeing with you. I understand that. I know that. Right. So I can I can understand what you're saying, but... That don't necessarily mean I agree with it or whatever. So you'll take the disagreement as, no, you don't understand <laughs> you, me. You think you, you know me. You, you don't. don't hear me or whatever. No, because I, Jazz, I've been here for a long time. <laughs> I know. I'm different than I was 10 years ago. Some things ain't, ain't no different, right? <laughs> and there's two things. One, I will say, you will say what you're saying and explain it over and over. And then I will keep on saying, I will reiterate what you said and then say what I said over again. And then you'd be like, oh. And I'm like, I, I was saying that the whole, I understand what you're saying. It's just, that's not going to work according to this, this, and this. Mm-hmm. You're like, no, but I really want to go there. I'm like, yeah, but Jess, I know you want to go. That's fine. But 
this time is not conducive to going there. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like it's a patience thing or whatever sometimes yeah you know you got to be patient and love is kind love is patient love is you know self-control love holds no records of wrong right i gotta be patient enough to be able to explain myself like some people not lash out because you don't want to repeat yourself yeah, or something like jazz are you my understanding me d like you and know imagine we were just doing that the, the flat like just going back and forth yeah just going like, back and forth th- literally just not hearing each other right. not Taking that time to be patient, yeah, to understand what's being said. Yeah. The, the moral of the story: I may have had to repeat myself a bunch of times in order to hear what Hakeem is saying, and sometimes we have to repeat the same thing he's saying to yeah. me to for me for it to eventually click. But eventually, it clicks. Yeah. Take your time and l- communicate in a in a safe way, in a loving way. Yeah. There's even. Um, plans on the bible plan if you're you know if you're a believer there's things in the bible um or you want to believe um in jesus but there are <laughs> pl- <laughs> let me open it up to everybody for everybody even in the, in the atheists hey come on <laughs> there is a plan in the bible plan i'm saying this because these are things that i read mm-hmm. um and it's plans that'll say um, how to communicate with your partner or um, even talk about sex in marriage. Uh, th- those type of readings or plans that you could talk about or read about in scripture that kind of help you and your partner. One of the things that I read in like it was called Secrets to a Happy Marriage. That's was one of them. Mm-hmm. And it was saying how communicating with love with your partner, literally giving your partner grace, give them grace and literally um like learn how to if you if there's disagreements learn how to l- talk to them about it in love and not being so upset oh, yeah, on yeah. ten. We can disagree just don't disrespect me. Exactly. Yeah. Like in worldly regular terms yeah. don't we can we can dis- we can uh, disagree with each other. Just don't disrespect. Just me. don't disrespect me, period. Yeah. Like that's what that is, but it it means a lot. It holds a lot of weight because if once again if y'all just lashing at each other and y'all just ain't y'all not hearing each other. Yeah. And y'all disrespecting each other at the same time. There's too much happening at once that, hey, nobody going to want to figure nothing out. Right. And if it's constantly that over the years, yeah, we driving away. See, but yeah, stuff yeah. stuff like that, though, see, the self-improvement, right? Because she read that Bible plan by herself, right? I read whatever I read, you know, God speak to me whatever way, you know what I'm saying, as far as, like, the marriage, you know. Uh, like we said last episode, like a big thing for me loving my wife appropriately is loving the kids because kids love like God loves us. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, that right there, she went and sought out that self-improvement for marriage, how to be a better wife, how to be a better partner by herself. Right. But both partners have to be doing that. Not just one. Not just one. Not just the ladies. And I'm going to. Keep on saying it. I'm sorry. Hit men. I'm He's so on y'all heels. Sorry. I, he gonna always because it's always the females. I, and I, I feel like it was like it's been like that since I was. Well, in, get on your own heels then. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> I'm turn these mics off. We can start a wrestling match. <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying. I am getting. I, I am technically getting on my own heels. You know what I'm saying. Like you, you shouldn't be able to. My mentor said, if, if the message is good, you should be able to get something out of it as well. Right. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? So any yeah. anything that comes out my mouth and I hear it later, it's a, it should be a reminder. You know what I'm saying? If it's good. Mm-hmm. If, if it's if it's just malarkey, if it's baloney, if it's booty, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just pulling words out my A, you know, then, yeah, so be it. But anyways, uh, you got to sort out. Both sides have to sort out how to be a better partner. Right. Both. Both um, you have you have to. It cannot just be one sided. It can't just be the woman constantly fasting, praying, going to church, right? Going, going to, to the gym, taking care of the kids. Like it can't just be the woman if if we're both in it, right? Right. Now we have different duties or whatever, but there are some things that are shared and that are mutual amongst us, right? And so if you're not doing the mutual things. I'm going to think that I'm in this alone. Right. And it's only going to get better if both sides get better. Period. That is the agreement. That's, That's the agreement. 
it's both of us saying this. It. It's not just so if it's, it's not a, just one. If like, the husband's it, not picking up the Bible plans or they're not trying to go to the gym, they're not trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing? It's yeah. not it's not enough, fellas, for us to just be there financially. It's not <sighs> I don't want to get X rated, but dick and bubble gum ain't ain't Ooh. ain't enough. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't care if you swanging or whatever's going on, you know what I'm saying? Like women don't just accept that as right. well, right? Don't right. just settle for the pipeline. You feel what I'm not saying? Not the pipeline. The pipe the <laughs> pipeline in the racks ain't enough. I need you to be here with me. I need you to stress females. I need y'all to stress that. I feel like it's been like that since I've been in middle school, high school. Like I had tons of, of girlfriends, like, you know what I'm saying? Separation in the word, right? And they just tell me how this dude did this, did that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. like, that's because he's not there with you. He's not, he ain't checked in. You see what I'm saying? We all here because we want to be here. All right. Not because... The ob- you're obligated to right because then it turns into a job right mm-hmm. you are in this marriage you asked for my hand in marriage man oh sir because you wanted to be with me right so be here so be here be my father <laughs> <laughs> why are you always on the road <laughs> You better call your dad, man. <laughs> then be here. Why are you always on the road? Why are you always on the road? Come on, man. Then do it. Then do it. Then be my father. Then be my father. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, why y'all acting like y'all want to be here? I love it here. Act like you love it. Yeah. Or somebody else going to get, you know. They going to love it. They might. <laughs> but you shouldn't, you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be a threat. Get right. Or I'm going to leave. Yeah. Do you like being here or not? <laughs> show me. Show and prove. Yes or not? Is it not? Is it not as simple as that? Are we making? Are we not making it? Are we making it too complex or like? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe we trying to make it seem like it's too easy. It is easy if you want to be somewhere. You think some? You think LeBron got a hard time getting up and going to play basketball every day? No. I don't think so because he love it there. He want to do that every yeah. single day. Another good analogy. You think Chris Brown have a hard time doing shows? Mm-mm. The man is flying from cables. Nobody's he's singing making him do that. upside down. Good. Nobody's making him do that. He's doing that because he want to put on a good show. Missy Elliott. We just came from the from the concert. Fire concert. Fire. She's still performing like she's debuting. Like she's in great shape. Mm-hmm. Buster Rhymes too because they want to be there. Do you want to be? We gonna change the title of this. Do you want to be in your marriage? In your relationship? Do you want to be dog? Sometimes we get so many obligations: work, gotta pay the bills, kids, dog, food, that we just mentally check out and we forget about each other. And we for- and that's how you fall out of love. You didn't make. You got too many obligations, and now you are not obligating yourself. To loving me. So what do you tell someone? Actually, I know the answer to this. I'm going to tell somebody that may be thinking, hey, I got to do this, that, and the third to make sure things are good. Number one, you and your person should be good, period. You and your woman, you and your man, y'all should be good first before any of that. I don't care if y'all was broke. I don't care. Whatever it is that you're trying to do that you're not like emotionally there. Don't talk to outsiders with your stuff. Talk to your person. Every Talk to them directly about what it is that's going on with y'all. Y'all got to fix it. Nobody, you can go tell the world. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, you still got to go home and lay with that person. Yeah. Talk to them. Y'all matter first before all of it. People will be like, oh, well, I got stuff to do or whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you from our, from, from, on our, if you want our advice. It's a faith thing when it comes to your bills being paid, when it comes to everything, your faith has, it's a faith that has to increase. You got to have faith that things will work, especially with you with, and you're with your person. Right. You know what I mean? Because some people will do things so much and push themselves to everything else and forget about their person. Oh yeah, absolutely. You get what I'm trying to say? Like you'll push yourself and wear yourself thin. You don't have time for your person no more. Yeah. And it's just like, now y'all falling out of love. Yeah. Well, what happened? 
I just, many obligations. We grew apart. No, you didn't grow apart. You just didn't make time for each other. You didn't make each other first yep. over everything yep. else. Each other. Each other. Each other. Not one doing more work than the other or vice versa. Each other. Got to gotta, gotta tap in for sure. Got to tap in. Because this, this is your teammate. This is your partner. Right? This is somebody that you have agreed to do life with. Yeah. Right? And so as long as I'm here, I want to do life with you. Right? And we're doing life together. Mm-hmm. And we're figuring this thing out. Mm-hmm. And we loving others together we like we're one we join together as one flip we should be operating like one my dog right okay <laughs> we, bed. it's not and need i remind y'all i'm always remind y'all nothing's perfect over here but we really make it a big thing to yeah. not make things a big deal yeah like we're really working on that. Like, yeah, that's the that's the motto. What is that's it? The motto. Uh, it's, it's not. It's that not serious. that serious. That's it's our motto. Yeah. The Collins motto is not that serious. Not that like, serious. Now, granted, we do have, we take them times so where we'll we don't use our own advice or apply it because we just in our own self. I, I mean, I, it's kind of hard to fight. You know, like I, we said, we're gonna do another episode of chat. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't be. It's not that I, I'm not taking anything seriously or whatever. It's just I deal with it. To me, I deal with it incredibly fast, right? Because I ask that question immediately, almost. You know what I'm saying? It it doesn't go that far to be like, man, dude, like, is it ever going to get better? Like, there's nothing that I can really think in my head, you know, that I'm like, all right, is it ever going to get better? And if it is, if it doesn't get better, I'm gone. There's nothing. There's not one thing in my head that I can think Mm -hmm. of off the top of my head. I'm not holding no record of no wrong, right? If anything, I'm holding a record of maybe a time a thing happened or whatever, you know what I'm saying, for reference. But it's not a wrong. It was just, it's a reference point so that we can get better, we can grow. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's perspective. How, how are you thinking of these things? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She might be thinking I'm holding some stuff uh, against her from like years ago or something like that. I'm not I'm not thinking about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's a reference point. Mm-hmm. That's it. Stuff happened. This happened. All right. We're good. Mm-hmm. We're straight. Because it's not conducive to us growing we're literally just going forward we're just going forward forward. that's it it's it's not that serious so i'm saying i don't take most things that serious they don't go that far they don't go below the surface of the water you know i'm saying they're very shallow thoughts or whatever Mm -hmm. you know and that's that's it people think i'd be stressing about stuff you know what i'm saying Oh, he's overworked, or, or he's you know. He needs saying? a break. He needs he a break. Away from that. I'm enjoying myself. I'm actually having time in my life. I'm 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 cool. I'm you know. I'm trying to figure stuff out or whatever. We got a beautiful studio here and everything, and <clears throat> stuff just keeps on getting bigger and better. I've always wanted to be married. I always wanted to be married young. I always wanted to start my family young, mm-hmm. and I always wanted to Tank. be an adult. To be able to figure out my own life and and build my own house and you know what I'm saying he was rushing to be a kid. I'm mean, rushing to be an adult. I loved being a I, kid. I was not rushing to be an adult. I was just it when it was time to be an adult. I was cool. I wasn't rushing. I wasn't trying to grow up super fast. I'm I, still trying to be a kid. That's why my name's still Jazzy the Kid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but we we do be kidding around. Kid is a mindset. Right? No, for real. You know. For real. You can be a kid. You can be fun and be a kid or whatever. But my thing was I wanted to be mature. Mm-hmm. So them is two. I put childish things away. I'll be kidding around. But the childish things is away. Mm-hmm. My childish thoughts. Holding on to all that immature love. Mm-hmm. All that hate. Those are the childish things that God was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Or that, that was referenced in the Bible. When I, was a, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. I, play, what, I thought as a child. I spoke as a child. Mm-hmm. But, but when, when I, I got became grew a man, man, I put, I put away child childish away. things. Okay, you messing. You, I put away childish things. Yeah, you. Well, I put childish things trans- behind me. Yeah, see, she's saying every translation is throwing <laughs> me off. When I was a child, I thought as a child, I spake as a child. But when I became a man, I put childish things away. <sighs> she got me NLT, NIV, <laughs> KJV, Amplified Bible, ESV, yeah, man, uh, BT Bible, <laughs> like everything, <laughs> Shade Room Bible. <laughs> All of them, but <laughs> you know, them childish things is immature love, bro. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. He's not talking about toys. I still play with toys. I got an Xbox. I got a, I got a Nintendo Switch. He wasn't talking about that. 
he was talking about all that immature love, all that hate, everything that that kids do when they don't know how to convey their feelings. Right, right. right. I think this was good. Yeah. I hope it was very helpful. Um, yeah. For anybody that could be experiencing that or just having those thoughts or whatever. Yeah. Um, it's always helpful even when we talk about it just amongst each other. Um, yeah. it's, we, were it's, just, we were just talking about that too. Uh, how we think that um, couples should we think everybody should podcast, right? Even if, yeah. you, if you don't even if you don't broadcast it or whatever you do or whatever this is this having these mics and everything we talk like this anyways dude the, the, that's the point of us having this show y'all yeah. we have these crazy conversations yeah. amongst just us two and yeah. then we'll bring our friends in sometimes or yeah. it's just everybody should have this yeah, these talks and you i think the podcast will kind of help force you to kind of talk about it because you already yeah you know you got the camera going yeah. so you got to talk about it but it's very mm -hmm. helpful for you as well like yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and if you wanted to, you know, look like this or whatever, just, I mean, do your research. Like, we had to do plenty of, you know what I'm saying, research, and uh, it's plenty of equipment that I wasn't, we didn't have before, and I was mm -hmm. like, Jazz, we need this, we need this, you know, figuring it out, um, you know, but overall, just the podcast, it forces you to talk, to sit down on the couch. And understand each other. Understand each other and just have undivided attention. This mm -hmm. is undivided. We should have. Ooh. That is a great. We might switch the name of this. I ain't gonna lie. What? Undivided. That is a great name. Undivided attention. Please don't take that, y'all. Oh my God, that is such a good name for a podcast. <laughs> oh we better hurry up and do it. But I don't know. Hey, hey if you don't, if hey, you come on this, this next episode and it's like, hey, my name is Jazzy Kid. I'm Hakeem. Welcome to Undivided Attention. Oh, that is, that, are you saying the name of the, uh, the pod? Mm. I know too much talk is is dope, but undivided attention, that that is. A we got we gotta sell the name to somebody. I don't know, man. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I like. I that. thought you were talking about the name of an episode. No, I'm gonna pray on that one. We gonna pray on that one. Mm. Cause that I, I like that. Maybe that's cool. What? Oh, okay. They can you know still hear you. <laughs> <laughs> don't steal it y'all dang dang you finna copyright this uh, i like that <laughs> you copyright it i don't know yeah we gonna we gonna fact check that with with a couple of people before we do that but i like that mm -hmm. i like that a lot it kind of undivided yeah yeah it's already gonna be copyrighted y'all so don't try to steal yeah, it don't try to steal it yeah 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 yep. by the time this episode is up it's gonna be copyrighted yeah period yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. but we love y'all and we thank y'all for watching yeah. today let's, and let's, listening. Let's, let's pray out that's, that's i was thinking the same out. thing we're on the same page yeah, i was thinking yeah, this yeah. morning my dog yeah let's do it you want to leave uh, <laughs> come on no nah, just kidding man of the house <laughs> lord father god we just uh we thank you for being able to be here be together um lord father god we just pray god over this pod uh, whether it's too much talk or undivided attention uh, <laughs> we just pray god that uh these um these pods and these uh these messages get to the right households lord father god yes lord. um god that we just claim victory lord father god through mm -hmm. any strongholds or any uh mishaps that are going on all across america all across the world lord father god if you brought them together lord father god we just pray god that no man can separate it not even us lord father god not the husband not the wife um that you refine them Lord Father God, that you make light of their situations, um, that you bring them through whatever they're going through, Lord Father God. From the east to the west, Lord Father God, just cover everything, Lord Father God, with your son's blood. We love you and we thank, thank you, you, Lord Father. Father God. In Jesus' mighty name In we Jesus pray. Name. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, ooh. All right. Well, make sure y'all uh, <laughs> make sure y'all subscribe make sure y'all like and please always comment what you want us to talk about yeah, next say um, yeah if you have a specific question we can always do like a questions episode where we just answer all of your questions and Absolutely. everything like that um or um you know maybe it's something that you're going through or um a question you don't necessarily even have to be going through anything if you have questions for us right you know that we can answer as well send all that or all that we read all that you know what i'm saying so but we are out Oh, we finna take a nap. We going nine nine. We going nine nine. Easy mm -hmm. beach. <laughs> <Schwinger, laughs> we, we love y'all. Love y'all so much. And thank y'all for right watching now. and listening. Mm -hmm.
Hey yo, what's up? It's your girl Jazzy the Kid. It's your boy Hakeem. And you're listening to Too Much Talk. Yeah.